Welcome to Voyager LCAR's menu system. On Stardate 4831.5.6, the USS Voyager was transported beyond our control, 70,000 light years across the galaxy to the Delta Quadrant. There, without aid from Starfleet, we began our 70-year journey home. In our numerous encounters, we came into contact with many dangerous and violent species. Having a limited crew with no chance of reinforcements, we determined that we needed a specialized team to handle the more dangerous situations. Tuvok, Voyager's chief of security, assembled an elite force of security personnel named the Hazard Team. Ensign Monroe is second in command of this uniquely trained team. Equipped with Seven of Nine's experimental anti Borg weapon, the Infinity Modulator, the Hazard Team has beamed to a Borg cube on a dangerous mission. However, the team was quickly overwhelmed, and the IMOD is now in the hands of the Borg. Separated from the rest, Monroe is attempting to rescue the team. Monroe to Tuvok. I've been cut off from the rest of the Hazard team. I don't know where they are. Mr. Monroe. We have isolated your team members' life signs. They appear to be trapped in the tertiary power modulation chamber. Rescue them at any cost. Acknowledged. Tertiary what?
Monroe! My savior! Get the eye on. It's on that table. Get Odell back to the ship. see a disc note here. Huh. Must have a special power source. Uh, I'd come with you if I had an eye mod, but uh, let's say I stay here and hold down the fort. Get back 
Cheers. Some board just beamed in and they're... I was hit. The board took the team through there. Beam out, Chang. You've done all you can here. Aye, sir. Yeah. 
we've got. Get us out of here. Monroe to Voyager. I've located the hazard team. They're trapped behind some sort of force field. Acknowledged, Ensign. See if you can locate the control console for the force field. supposed to do. Mr. Monroe, your tactical approach was, shall we say, tactless. All right, hazard team, report to debriefing. Nice going, Monroe. Sir, if I may, how was I supposed to know the panel would explode? That point is not relevant, Mr. Monroe. A given situation is not as predictable as you might desire. Your reckless decision has caused the death of you and your teammates. You have failed. Had you followed standard hazard team procedures, you may have survived the simulation and achieved your mission objectives. Yes, sir. Procedure. Speak freely, Ensign. Deck four. With all due respect, sir, I don't think procedure would have mattered. There wasn't any way I could have possibly rescued them. Someday, Mr. Monroe, you may be called upon to do the impossible. Consider this to be your personal Kobayashi Maru. Red alert. All hands to battle stations. Computer. Reroute turbo lift to the bridge. Secondary EPS conduits on decks 8 and 9 rupturing. Warp drive is offline. What happened? We responded to a distress signal from a derelict vessel and it opened fire. Tuvok, they don't respond to hails. Maybe we need to send a clearer message. Target their weapon systems and disable them. Firing phasers. Direct hit. Phasers had no discernible effect. Aft shields are down, Captain. Rerouting auxiliary power to the shields. Captain, I'm getting reports of extensive damage on decks 9 and 10. We're not going to survive another hit. Photon torpedoes, full spread. Torpedoes away. Everyone all right? I am undamaged. What just happened? 
Captain, we seem to have been torn from normal space. I think we've been pulled through some sort of isodimensional rift. Where are we? Apparently, here, Captain. Sensors and most of Voyager's primary systems are offline. Until repairs are made, it may be difficult to ascertain exactly where here is. Captain's Log, Stardate 53854.7. Voyager was attacked by an unknown force and transported to some kind of starship graveyard, whereabouts unknown. The ship is heavily damaged. Communications, propulsion, and other systems are offline. Until repairs are done, we're utterly helpless. Stranded. Let's get this ship back together, Chakotay. Get damage control online. Harry, find out what you can about those other ships, and exactly where we are. Aye, Captain. Uh oh Captain, there's a containment leak in engineering. If we can't get it sealed, we're going to have a warp core breach. Ensign Monroe, you're wearing a hazard suit. Get down to engineering and help Balana seal that leak. Turbolift controls malfunctioning. Initiate vocal command using Captain, manual we're drifting, interface. Attempting to compensate with maneuvering thrusters. Deck 11, engineering. I'm having a hard time getting any sensor information on those derelict ships, Captain. Sir, here's the damage control progress for the aft side of the deck. Good. Who's fixing the data shunt here? Showers and Chell, sir. Good. And Renner's on the Jeffries tubes. Garrett, can you give me a hand with this plasma relay? Where were you heading? I need to take a turbo lift to engineering. 
Well, the aft turbolifts were the only ones working on this deck, but they're behind the containment field. The explosion must have shorted off this console. I, I think there's an override somewhere on this deck, but I'm not sure where. Sorry, Monroe. The data shunt's been severed here. Everything down this way is shut off. Hey, we're getting a power surge here. Monroe, quick! Hit that panel and shut off this relay! That was close. Chell, I need to get this containment field down. There's an override in the Jeffrey's tube just down that corridor. Warning. Hazardous material detected. Monroe, what took you so long? We've got a warp core breach in progress. You need to get in there and shut it down. There are two things you have to do, so listen carefully. First, cut the power relays on the main floor. Then go to the upper level and decouple the dilithium matrix. Wait a minute. You're going to need a helmet to get through that coolant leak. I've got one in my transporter buffer. Hurry up and find those terminals. There isn't much time before we lose containment and have to reject the core. Hurry, Monroe. I'm not sure how much time you've got left. Attention. Warp core breach imminent. 
Power relays must be cut in order to decouple the dilithium matrix. Attention, this lift has malfunctioned. Displaying power relay access code. Got it. Access granted. Power relays have been cut. Attention. Warp core breach in 30 seconds. Dilithium matrix decoupled. Warp core offline. Core breach averted. Good job, Ensign. That was touch and go there for a little while. No problem, Lieutenant. Okay, let's get a cleanup crew in here. Seal that leak. We need to get main power back online. Boric. Give me a hand with the Resonance Cascade Modulator. Attention, this lift has malfunctioned. Gina, watch your alignment. That isodyne array has to be modulated. Intruder alert. All security and hazard team personnel yes. to the loading dock. Ensign Stats, is the coupling matrix back online yet? Just another couple of minutes, sir. How's it look, Justin? Decade, loading dock. Not good. The whole intermix matrix is out of whack. Engineering... Here, Monroe, take this. Come on. If you need medical attention, just come back here. Monroe, over here. We're being invaded by some kind of pirates. They're taking our supplies. We have to stop them. There are two of them behind a barricade in there. They're launching energy grenades. See if you can eliminate them. Ready? Watch your back.
Foster. We're pinned down in Cargo Bay 1. We require your immediate assistance. Monroe, Tuvok needs help. Come with me. Here, Monroe, take this. Come on. If you need medical attention, just come back here. Monroe, Doctor. Over here. Yes, Denson. Just a moment. You'll be fine. We're being invaded by some kind of pirates. They're taking our supplies. We have to stop them. There are two of them behind a barricade in there. They're launching energy grenades. See if you can eliminate them. Ready? Over here. to Foster. We're pinned down in Cargo Bay 1. We require your immediate assistance. Monroe, Tuvok needs help. Come with me. Just a moment. You'll be fine. What are you waiting for? Come on, Ensign, get a move on.
I can't wait for you, Monroe. I'm going to help Tuvok. to bridge. The intruders have been repelled. Well done. It seems our situation is worse than we thought, Tuvok. Report to the conference room. Acknowledged. Lieutenant Foster, have the team report to hazard operations. I am certain that many of you are curious as to our situation. Voyager has been transported to a region of space we are not familiar with. It seems that many other disabled vessels are present here as well. We have detected an energy dampening field surrounding the area that is draining Voyager's systems of power. For the moment, we are trapped like the other ships and cannot escape. Like the Tarkana's gravity will, 247 ships have been lost there. Or the Bermuda Triangle. You know, back on Earth. Perhaps. Our primary weapons and propulsion systems are offline at the moment. The captain's current strategy is to find out as much as we can about our surroundings while we affect repairs. So what's the deal with our unwelcome visitors? We do not have much information about them as of yet, Mr. Beesman. They appear to be scavengers of some sort, comprised of Klingons, humans, and Malons. With only short-range sensors operational, we have been unable to locate their vessel since it departed. However, we have detected a vessel nearby. While sensors indicate no life signs, we have detected a functioning power source on board. Our hope is that their computer systems are still operational and contain information about this area. The hazard team will transport onto this vessel and retrieve any files that are still intact. No life signs? Like a ghost ship. Yeah. Boo! <laughs> While your superstitious beliefs are quite illogical, Mr. Chell, caution is recommended. Your team leader, Lieutenant Foster, will now brief you on your specific mission objectives. Lieutenant? All right. This is an information gathering mission. Minimal encounter probability. The hazard team will split up into two squads. Alpha Squad, my group, will beam into Control Room A. Ensign Monroe and Beta Squad will be transported to Control Room B. 
Our objective is to have at least one of the teams locate a functioning terminal to extract any information we can and return to Voyager. In the unlikely case of hostile encounters, the technicians should be protected at all costs to ensure retrieval of this information. Any questions? Sounds like a cakewalk. See the quartermaster, Oviedo, in the equipment room. Gear up, then report to transporter room one. Dismissed. Hoping for some action our first time out. Be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. I wonder how long those scavengers have been here. I don't know. I'm surprised they managed to survive this long. I wonder where their ship is. I gotta head out. Got an away mission to perform. Man, I can't believe I'm getting left behind on our first mission. And an intelligence gathering mission, too. Hey, relax, Ken. There'll be plenty of other missions. Uh, yeah, Ken. They're just saving the best for last. <laughs> Ms. Durant, while we have some extra time, I thought we'd review first aid combat protocols one more time. Thank you, Doctor, but I think I am well prepared. I did go through extensive training and testing for this position. Of course. Well, let me know if you develop any nervousness or pre-mission jitters. Don't worry, Doctor. You'll be fine. Busy here. Hey, bro. Make sure you try out the new sniper mode on Facebook. Those scavenger guns. They used a lithium crystal chips for a power source. Most ships use those crystals, so you should be able to find more to power the gun. The second trigger on it fires the energy grenades. 
be careful with those. If you want, you can test out your weapons in the holodeck here behind me. Doctor, you don't appear to be injured. Gerard. I must say I was surprised that I was not selected for this mission. I know the ship is supposed to be deserted, I just hope they don't end up needing a medic. Tom. Good luck, Monroe. Energize. All set, Alex. Okay, ready to transport Team Two. Energize. Let's see if any of these consoles are working. Look at this. I've never seen such a ship. It's almost like it's alive. Move it! I think I found the data terminal. Just give me a minute to start the download. It's hot in here. Humid. I kinda like it. You would. You're a Bolian. I wonder what those are. They look like... Fireflies. Foster to Monroe. We've tapped into a data terminal here and started the download. Chell found one here, too. He's accessing it now. Ambush! Get everywhere! What are these things? What, what, what's going on over there? Just start downloading. Okay, I've got it. Starting download. Downloading. We're covered. Yes, sir. They just stopped attacking a moment ago. Same thing here. I got all I could from the data terminal. Let's get out of here! There's a slight problem there. Whatever alarm went off must have raised this thing's shields. We can't contact Voyager and we can't beam out. We need to regroup. We've done some scans and it looks like there's a junction point in Section 29. I see it. We'll meet up there and figure out how to take these shields down. Good luck. Foster out. Section 29 is through that door up there. Great. How do we get up there? This way. Thank <laughs> you. 
What are those things? Hmm. They seem to have an isophasic signature similar to our own transporter technology. Transporters? Section 29. Where's the control panel? Thank you. 